football. Some say it's the greatest sport on earth. Well, what if football was the greatest sport in the Kanto region? And to add to this, what if instead of humans playing the sport, Pokemon played the sport? In this hypothetical scenario, what would be the best possible team the Pokemon could make? Using only the original 151 Pokemon found in Kanto, what is the best possible football team that can be created? Well, before we get into all of this, we need to set some ground rules. Alright, so, yeah, you know the first rule? I say there's no flying allowed, you know what I'm saying? Cause look, if, if Pokemon could fly in football, it just wouldn't be fair. You could just throw the ball to a flying type every time it score a touchdown, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and also, you know, Pokemon that float, let's, let's chill it, maybe keep it to like just a couple feet. I'm looking at you, Mew, you know what I'm saying? So the next rule is gonna be that Pokemon can't use moves. I mean, imagine how OP it would be if you get if you get a Pokemon just using Hyper Beam, you know, when someone gets in their way. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it wouldn't be fail. The last rule is just to keep away from the OP stuff. You know what I'm talking about. The absurd Pokedex entries, for example, Machamp. I mean, come on. Really? You, you, you just gonna send someone, punch someone into the horizon? I mean, guys, come on. We, we can't be doing that in, in the game of football. It's just not allowed. So just cut it with the OP stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going to be using this format to give the Pokemon their positions. There's 11 players on offense and 11 players on defense. Later on, we're also going to do special teams and some other special positions and maybe some backups. You never know. So stay tuned to the end to see all of those. Alright y'all, well we're gonna go ahead and start building this lineup without any further ado. So, we're gonna start with the offensive line. Like any great offense, you have to have five big old big uglies to protect the quarterback. The leader of the offensive line is usually the center, the guy in the middle. You know, he's gotta be able to call the plays, he's gotta be able to hike the ball fast and get ready to block. So I'm gonna give this position to Mr. Dragonite. See, Dragonite stands at seven foot three inches and weighs 463 pounds. That's a big boy. That's who you want protecting your quarterback. Dragonite's a leader, he's a pseudo legendary. Some argue he should even be a legendary. And he's got the mental capability to boss the rest of the offensive line around as well as communicate well with the quarterback. Dragonite is the center, let's get it. Next up, we got the two offensive guards. The guards need to be able to give the quarterback time to make a good throw and they do need some agility to be able to pull and create an open field for the running back. We're gonna start off with left guard here, which is gonna be Golem. Now Golem weighs in at an impressive 661 pounds and stands at four foot seven inches. Golem should be able to use this to their advantage because they can get under the defensive tackles and nose guards that they need to block. Golem should be able to get a good push up front and create a lot of space for the running back. And good luck trying to get past Golem when they're pass blocking. It ain't gonna happen. So Golem is the left guard and I think that's a pretty good decision. So next we got the right guard, and I think Blastoise fits this position perfectly. Blastoise weighs in at 189 pounds and stands 5 feet 3 inches tall. I mean, it's not very tall just like Golem, but Blastoise would be able to get under the defenders and would also make a perfect pulling guard. As you can see here, Blastoise actually has pretty good blocking form and would make an excellent right guard. So Blastoise is our choice. Next, we got offensive tackles. Now, tackles need to be big, but they also need to be quick on their feet because they often have to block big old defensive ends and linebackers who are very agile. For the left tackle, I'm choosing Rhydon. Rhydon comes in at six foot three inches and is a perfect mix of strength and agility. Rhydon certainly will be able to keep up with any pass rusher and can easily make holes for the running back using its insane strength. So if we get Rhydon and Golem on the left side of the line, it's over. That's a brick roll, and no one is getting through that. And to round out the offensive line, we're putting Kangaskhan at right tackle. It's a similar build to Rhydon. Kangaskhan should be easily able to manhandle anyone that goes up against it. Kangaskhan has a baby in his pouch and will do anything to protect it as well as anything to protect the quarterback. If Kangaskhan can stop this Onyx from sliding down this mountain, just imagine what it can do to a defensive tackle trying to get to the quarterback. So that finishes the offensive line, and now we're going to go with the quarterback, the true leader of the offense. A good quarterback needs to be very intelligent, decently athletic, and needs to be able to rally their troops. 
To me, there is no better Pokemon to lead this team than Mewtwo. Mewtwo would be an absolute phenom on the gridiron. Not only can it beam passes with laser precision, but Mewtwo can run the ball when needed. Imagine if Tom Brady, Pat Mahomes, and Lamar Jackson had a baby. That's Mewtwo. If Mewtwo was in Madden, it would rival 04 Michael Vick. At most, if not all of its stats, would be 99. There's really nothing Mewtwo can't do, and that's why it's the quarterback of this team. Next, we got the tight end position. The tight end usually lines up with the lineman, but is also an eligible receiver. To be good at this position, you need to possess elite catching ability while also being able to block efficiently as well. I can't think of anyone better for this position than Machamp. Not only is this Pokemon absolutely jacked, it has four freaking arms! Are you kidding me? You're gonna have a hard time overthrowing or underthrowing Machamp. He can catch anything! Not only that, but it possesses elite blocking ability. I mean, I feel bad for any blitzing linebacker that has to try and get past Machamp. It's an absolute elite Pokemon and a perfect Pokemon to play the tight end position. All right, next we got the wide receiver positions. We gotta have some Pokemon that can catch Mewtwo's passes. For my wide receiver one, I'm picking Jolteon. We're looking at one of the fastest and most agile Pokemon in the entire Kanto region. If you're worrying about Jolteon's catching ability, just look at Airbud. If Airbud can catch Tutties, then so can Jolteon. The breakaway speed this Pokemon possesses is sure to give defensive backs nightmares. Jolteon is my WR1. The other wide receiver position is going to Mr. Aerodactyl. Even without its flying ability, this prehistoric Pokemon has elite speed, tied with the second fastest in the entire Kanto region. Standing at 6 foot 11 inches and weighing 174 pounds, Aerodactyl might need to be double covered every single play if the defense even wants a chance to stop him. With Jolteon and Aerodactyl running routes, any defense is going to get absolutely torched. So those are my wide receiver positions. Let's move on to the running backs. So for the main running back position, we're going to go ahead and go with the devious and mischievous Mr. Gengar. All I gotta say is good luck trying to tackle this Pokemon. Standing at 4 foot 11 inches and having absolutely insane agility, Gengar is sure to snatch anyone's angles. Combine all this with a decent speed stat and we got one absolutely dangerous running back. Good luck defenses, good luck defensive backs, no one's tackling this Pokemon. This right here is a pretty good example of what Gengar can do. Every time someone tries to tackle it, somehow Gengar just breaks through. It's really just unbelievable, and clearly Gengar is the number one running back. So the last member of the Kanto Pokemon offense is the fullback. The fullback is a more powerful version of the running back, often used for extra blocking or when the offense only needs to get a couple yards. Fullbacks need to be very big and strong, but also decently quick. This is why I've chosen Venusaur for this position. Standing at 6 foot 7 inches and weighing 221 pounds, Venusaur is an absolute wrecking ball. Its speed stats are actually in the top 33% of the Kanto region, and Venusaur is one of the fastest Pokemon for its size. If you're in a goal line formation and only need like a yard or two for a touchdown or a first down, Venusaur is absolutely your best bet. If the Seahawks had Venusaur, they would have ran the ball faux show. There's no doubt that this Pokemon will be insanely hard to tackle and is the perfect fit for the fullback position. Well, there we have it, the entire Kanto Pokemon offense. So let's recap. We got Dragonite at center, Golem and Blastoise at the offensive guard positions, and Rhydon and Kangaskhan at the offensive tackles. This offensive line is an absolute brick wall that no one is getting through. They're gonna make life very easy for the running backs Gengar and Venusaur. We got Mewtwo at quarterback. It certainly will be the leader of the offense and is probably gonna be the most athletic Pokemon on the field at any given moment. Having Machamp at tight end gives the team many more options. They have an elite pass catcher and an elite blocker at this position. This will help the team excel no matter what play they call. At the wide receiver positions, we got Jolteon and Aerodactyl. Both are going to transform any given cornerback into some burnt toast. We got Gengar at the running back position who provides elite agility and will likely be a first down machine. Lastly, we got Mr. Venusaur who is pretty much trucking anyone who dares get in its way. Personally, I don't see this offense losing a game to anyone.
Well, all right, that's my list, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I mean, let me know what changes you would make in the comments. I'm planning on making a defensive and special teams version as well. I probably won't want to overlap any Pokemon, but who knows? Well, I hope you all have a good day, and I'm out.